Hi, my name is Erin and I'm from the Girl Scout Council of Oregon and Southwest Washington, which is located in the lovely state of Oregon and the bottom part of Washington. I am an Ambassador Girl Scout. Today, I'm going to be talking about space, specifically stars. Every star is born in a nebula. Nebulas are clouds made of gas and dust and are known as star nurseries. There are two main star sizes, the small medium kind and the large kind. Small medium stars are like our sun. They will later turn into red giants and then after that turn into either a white dwarf or a black dwarf. High mass stars will turn into super giants and super giants are so powerful that they will explode into a supernova, which leaves such a heavy core that it can create a black hole or a white dwarf. But today we're just gonna be focused on supernovas. A supernova scatters the star's elements into space and over time, the elements made during the supernova, including the heavier ones like iron, are recycled into new stars and planets. The naturally occurring elements found on Earth were once the heart of a star. And since humans are made up of the elements, we are literally made of stardust. Today, you will discover elements of a supernova and make a stardust self-portrait to show how humans are made of those same elements. This activity is one of the steps required to earn the Senior Space Science Expert Badge. Plan for 30 minutes to complete this activity, plus five minutes to prep and five minutes to clean up. You will need paper and any art supplies you desire, whether it be watercolors or gel pens, pencils, crayons, anything you wish. Your Stardust self-portraits will be created as an infographic. An infographic transforms information from a set of numbers into a compelling visual image. It makes your data more interesting, appealing, and a lot easier to understand. The four chemical elements that make up most of the atoms in your body are hydrogen at 62%, oxygen at 24%, carbon 12%, nitrogen 1.1%, and then you also have traces of calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, sodium, and chlorine that collectively make up 0.6%. And then there's a variety of trace elements adding up to about 0.3%. So how will you use this data to create an infographic of yourself? Before you begin, Go and take a look at infographic examples to inspire you. Next, think about your audience. So who will you show your self-portrait to? How will that impact the design of your infograph? How will you show your data? Will your audience respond better to exact numbers or estimations? So begin by drawing an outline of yourself or a different shape that represents you. Once you've decided on your audience, calculate or estimate how much space each element will take up and then divide your shape accordingly. Then label and fill in each section using a different color or pattern. So here's what I did. Very, very basic. I did the big part of hydrogen. I did the smaller chunk of oxygen. I did not do mine very exact. I did mine guesstimating. I did an outline of a person, but you guys could do a more personal image if you want. And my audience is you guys. All right, so after you've completed your self-portrait, share it with your family and friends and explain what it means to be made of stardust. After you've spent some time creating your self-portrait, it's a good idea to think about what you learned and what you want to do next. Here are some questions. What were you most surprised to learn? How can you show your data in another way or to a different audience? And would you like to learn more about stars? I know I definitely would. You have now successfully completed one of the steps in earning the Senior Space Science Expert Badge. Yay! You discovered elements of a supernova, learned how to create an impactful infographic, and made a self-portrait to show how humans are made of stardust. Thank you for checking out Make a Stardust Self-Portrait Activity. If you liked this video, which I hope you did, please share it with another girl, explore other STEM activities on the Girl Scouts at home, and reach out to your local Girl Scout Council or troop leader for more ideas. 
And if you're not a Girl Scout, please come join. You can go to girlscouts.org to learn more. Thanks for watching, guys.